Hello and welcome back to my magical chamber. I am the Soul Enchantress. And today I've been guided to speak to you about why you shouldn't be constantly struggling for money. So this is really interesting. First, before I actually get into the video, I want to speak about the fact that my very first public video for 2017 was about the fact that money was not is not physical. And since then, I've been guided to create, I think, two more um, videos on money and prosperity. So this seems to be a continuing theme. And if I am correct, this would be my fourth video um, this month about money. And it's the first time that I've ever felt so compelled to speak about it. And there are, I find, a lot of people who are needing this help. So <clears throat> I would love your uh, feedback in terms of you can uh, message me through my website, um, soulenchantress.com, and let me know what you are struggling with in terms of money and prosperity so that I can maybe include some of your questions into the next videos I do. So um, this seems to be a theme that I am being guided to speak about and um, as much as you need physical um, help um, with money, adding the spiritual help to it um, only makes the work that you do and the improvements that you create in attracting money, prosperity and abundance into your life far more effective. Okay, so firstly, um, I, I think it's actually another video, but I'm actually going to speak, uh, just touch on it briefly. I want to also explain to you the difference between prosperity and money as well. Okay, so... Um, I'll just touch on it um, today, but I probably may do an, another video on it. Okay, so firstly, this video is about why you shouldn't be struggling uh, for money. So here's what I want to ask you. Do you find yourself saying it's a constant struggle when you actually speak about money or paying your bills? I find that that is a very uh, strong identifying quality about those that actually struggle for money. They use the term that it is a constant struggle and they use that term when they speak about money or they're speaking about paying bills. Um, so just... Ask yourself that question, are you one of those people where you describe your experience about money or paying your bills as a constant struggle? And if you are, then this video is for you. Because what you need to understand is that that is how you are defining your experience about money. So I've also, as I said to you, I have two other videos uh, that I've released this week and um, also one a couple of weeks ago about money. So please watch all of those videos because they will help fill in the gaps uh, leading up to this one. And if that is how you describe your experience of money in your life as a constant struggle, then what it's time for you to do is actually to open the pathways to the flow of prosperity to you, okay? Notice I didn't use the word money, the flow of prosperity to you. Okay, now this is why I feel called to speak about the difference between prosperity and money and the fact that there really is no difference, but people believe there is and they hung up one of those terms, not the other. Okay, um, so prosperity is where, say for example, you want um, this beautiful new home, a beautiful new car, you want um, uh, a new pair of shoes, uh, a new uh, 
dress, whatever it is, uh, whether you are male or female, and I hope I've covered enough things for male and female in um, giving you some very, very basic examples of what most people um, get hung up about. Okay, so say for example, you want those things, but what you are focused on is money. So Money is where you receive a X amount of uh, currency, whether it's dollars, pounds, um, pesos, whatever your currency is, where you receive an X amount of currency and you take this X amount of currency and then you go to whatever it is that you want to get, whether it is the house or the car or the, the dress or the shoes, and you pay that X amount of currency to obtain that object. Okay, so the difference is twofold you don't necessarily need the x amount of currency to obtain those things you think you do and that is why you're struggling because you think you need to get the x amount of whatever the worth is of the object that you desire and then you are so fixated on trying to find the X amount of currency to gain the object of your desire. And I'm, I'm just talking about objects. I'm not even speaking about like a holiday or an experience or anything, but you, it could be anything, okay? So just go along with me for the analogy. So what you're doing is by fixating on the money or the currency that you need to get, you are actually creating energetic blocks. But in order for you to get the money, if you focus on the prosperity side, which means you are actually focusing on being able to obtain those objects of your desire. So sometimes, and this is how the multiverse works, you may not receive the X amount of currency, but you will receive the object of your desire. So you will probably get to live in that house of your dreams. You will um, be driving that car. You will get that dress or you will get that bag. But maybe it may come a different way. So for example, you could receive the dress as a gift for your birthday. So you see, you've drawn that dress into your life, but you didn't get the X amount of currency to get that dress. And the same way, the house, it could be that um, somehow your work leads you to go and live someplace and you are allowed to live in a house which is very, very close to and similar to the description of your dream home. So there could be so many different ways or there's so many ways um, that I don't want to go into the nitty gritty, but I need you to understand the concept. And this happens every day, okay? So prosperity is the flow of things um, and the abundance of things in your life where prosperity uh, by definition is you being able to do what you want to do and experience what you want to experience and have what you want to experience when you want it. Money is simply a currency, that is sometimes used to gain that prosperity. Okay, so if you can understand the difference between the two concepts and if you can apply the concept of um, manifesting prosperity in your life as opposed to trying to constantly manifest money, then you will actually have an abundance of both. The principles I speak about in terms of prosperity, money, abundance are principles that I apply in my life every day and that I help my clients with. And these principles work every single time. They are powerful, they're effective, and they are profoundly amazing. I know you use these words all the time, but I cannot tell you how incredible it is when you understand the concepts of the multiverse, the cosmos, and the, galac and the, and the galactic intelligences. Because when you do, your life becomes a journey of joy and not a journey of struggle okay so I hope this has been helpful and if I can help you um, or you would like my help 
with understanding how you can focus on prosperity. Um, I do work with my clients on all of these facets of it and it is ongoing soul work, it is combined with enchantments, it is um, actually a journey and an amazing journey. So if you would like to work with me, the easiest way to contact me is through my website, soulenchantress.com and I wish you a prosperous day. Joyous blessings.